East Africa, a region afflicted with cyclical drought. In this part of the continent, rainfall agriculture is a gamble, as they are not only irregular, but also unpredictable. For Eritrea, with over two-thirds of its population relying on traditional means of farming, the story is not that different. Uneven and erratic distribution of rainfall, absence of perennial rivers or streams, and lack of modern-day technology have all aggravated to an extreme discount of the overall annual income for farmers. Agriculture nonetheless plays a central role in economic development in Eritrea and increases in farm productivity can guarantee food and nutrition, income and employment for farm households, as well as provide marketable surplus for urban dwellers and export or cash crop production for industry and external trade. A notable project initiated by the Eritrean Ministry of Agriculture in early 2013 has presented itself effective in this particular task. The project is called the Minimum Integrated Household Agricultural Package or MIHAP. <laughs> ولكنه <تصفيق> The philosophy behind this package is that, in a situation where rains are unpredictable in terms of amount and distribution, the best bet for the smallholder farmer is to harvest rainwater in the form of check dams or micro dams and to use the water judiciously for farming and supplementary income generating activities. This means adopting small, intensive and integrated agriculture, the size of which could be not bigger than a quarter of a hectare. Integration, meaning the mix of crop and animal farming. The intensiveness expresses the cycle of production per year, which in Eritrea's case will be two to three. Two, in lowland areas of the country due to very hot climatic conditions in some months, and three, in the highlands and the midlands. زملاء وحش شرحنا لنا كل تأمله بتي ما يكرك بقل بتخا أبزبوت هذه تي وايتا شوام سلزوخنا تي كاب كبسة حزوز مس ما يجن صوري ماي توسا هون دبت حزوز لازم مس نت جراوتي دخوعيه هو نت فريام نت كزيارة نخا خعبت زيارة فريام نت نخا بنخا نخا تأمنا لنا إنا بخلت من قدينا نتأمل لنا ما لتي ما يكلت عينات ما لنا هذا ما لي إذا ناي ربع عن سبب ما يأتيلو تكال أي كان يسولاري وراح صرت هذا كتنديفنا نزي امن قدي كاب تارو بحيزنا سارحنا نتا وحيت ما كم تاتينا انا غبره يجي ريغاينا 14 منتسب 4 ساعات ام عادي من هذا حرستان 4 ساعات With the newly introduced minimum integrated household package in the Ansaba and southern regions of the country, each house or family is given the opportunity to acquire one selected local breed or hybrid or six goats. The cow is on a pass-on program, that is, the farmer gives back the first female calf of about one year. <laughs> ولكن هناك اشياء اخرى 
زن وان نتای خوانن ابرال خانه. دارگا خلم ادام کافیلم یوم نبرد حنا و حد از این تلفن زلوا. نسان و اجام زلوانیان گله ان کسای فجیزی ولد آر بعث زلوا نمالتیو. نسان امبار کال ادام کافیلم یوم. هجی افتام سیگار لکه ادام کافیلم. افکاری در جاون بس حمزه زلوا الله مالتیو کم زه جزر آنایا. ادو کافیلو خال آر اسباز حضرت لزلا. آبالات لوا نمالتیو. The package also includes 25 chicken, only three of which are males, two beehives, a vegetable plot and 20 trees, 10 fruit trees, 5 leguminous trees like moringa, leucinia, pigeon pea, etc. as feed supplemented to the cow and 5 trees for firewood, in addition to the land used for crop cultivation. The plots of land extended to the farmers, measuring a quarter of a hectare, 2,500 square meters, are used for the production of green feed, mainly alfalfa, maize or elephant grass for the cow on 1,000 square meters. Secondly, growing cereals for the family by preferably planting hybrid maize, which can yield around 1.2 tons in two cycles in 1,000 square meters of the land, and a surplus of vegetable production on the remaining 500 square meters. تیم مریت هم زیاد تر از لازیه رب یک هکتار تعدیله رب زیاد رب یک هکتار نی تریز خون آلفا آلفا برسیم افونه ل نب نه احملتی کمدوره فرتات خا لو آرانشی مانگوس پاپایو گرالله دعا درهو بعدی او خازین استال لاغاموس بس بوق خا نخی دالنا دیپ سنت همه سر برسیم سک منظره که او سک سنت ولی گلیگس کادر سر حرماز کم سال افول همون دیپ سنت سال دو آربا دو لزری ولی تو ما کل دو لگت زرد کادر برسیم و سر حرماز لکن حکو لحظه دو لزری تو اسک همه سنت آربا سنت گله با کادر most importantly, families included in the package will have milk, eggs, meat, vegetables, fruits and honey, which provide the required nutrition for the family and for sale. However, as is already happening, the package will not only continue to generate primary products, but will transform into value addition, starting with dairy products and byproducts. <laughs> وأن سرح حكومة السس ورح حكومة ديت اللي قال بلد حبكوا قال حامد كراب اللي بالحرس تاعه تلو مسنا له الله لو أتلا أتحليب ما شاء الله ما أسرح تأسرك لي ده ترى تتحلب الحليب سرو ناقل ناقل سبحنا وسرو منا زبيو the crucial issue is for farmers to concentrate on one improved dairy cow, which can provide a minimum of 10 to 15 liters of milk per day, instead of having 3 to 5 milking cows with low productivity. The family will consume 20% of the milk and sell the rest. The dunk produced will also help to improve soil fertility of their land. Adding value to small-scale dairy production is also a powerful tool for reducing poverty raising nutritional level and improving the livelihoods of farm households and rural communities. The on-farm or small-scale processing of milk at a village level for the production of artisan dairy products can be a way to add value to milk production. It can also create flexibility and provide a buffer to cyclical changes in supply and demand. With fluctuating milk prices, many farmers desire a more reliable, less cyclical income stream Many dairy producers consider on-farm processing in order to add value to their milk produced on their farms by way of cheese and yogurt production. Butter is already produced in Eritrea on many scale dairy farms during the fasting seasons. Generally, adding value to a product consists of transforming a product to an alternative form that will bring about more flexibility and a better balance between supply and demand as well as on increased income. Through this process, consumers receive a higher quality product and farmers receive a new revenue stream.
Households selected for this package are those who have a small plot of land around water points. The package offers the household both economic benefits as well as social benefits in terms of reducing burdens on women. Today, a new day dawns for these participating farm households as they take advantage of the package to obtain sufficient food for themselves and provide adequate supplies for at least four other neighboring families. They could also play a great role in increasing the supply of agricultural products to consumers as well as helping to stabilize markets. What was in the even have a one? The other component, that is the backyard poultry, is adaptable to the Eritrean condition and will not need special care or attention in their feeding as they are free range. They are not very susceptible to diseases and can be easily handled. Eggs produced will provide nutritious food for the family and the rest can be sold to other families. Eggs produced by local hen breeds command a premium price because of their quality. Honey is a very nutritious and organic food which can be used by the family and the huge surplus can be easily sold. Vegetables and fruits which contribute the bulk of the nutrition are also an integral part of the package. <laughs> أبتون حرصت كيرنا مغري نقوم زعبنا ينتعش محمد قال لك لازلوا مالتي تي مايكا كم يجرون كنت قام لهم زلوا كونوا واحدهم مالتي تن تريد قال له زخانة نجار محمد هذا الرأي اللغة مداني بقربة نمصل. The package is constantly evolving to include the improved stove, solar lighting, latrines, compost, and more. If this package continues to be implemented uninterrupted, it will enable farm families become self-sufficient, provide food, nutrition and financial security at household and community level and provide worthwhile employment for family members and respective rural communities. This means MIHAP will guarantee the reduction of numbers of persons living below poverty line in targeted areas, increased income of targeted beneficiary households as compared to baseline, reduced prevalence of underweight and malnourished children in targeted areas and increased number of families having fulfilled minimum household dietary feeding. <laughs>